Well, the white stuff is here and the roads should now be treated with care. The city is hosting a new pilot project, but what do you do to avoid things like this? when it comes to winter driving. Day two of the snowfall and city roads have seen a fair share of accidents, including this morning with a car versus a bus, leaving a nine-year-old boy fighting for his life in hospital. It was one of the worst collisions in a morning where commuters woke to heavy snow, heavy traffic and dangerous condition. With the snow falling and the roads a slippery mess, what do you do to make sure you're safe on the roads? One tire salesman says most don't do enough. But all season tires today, or in most cases, some are summer tires, they're built for sunbelt regions. Put all season tires on a car, they're not thinking of Edmonton, Alberta in mind. Alberta does not currently have a law demanding people to equip their vehicles with winter tires. That's a bad call, Fleming thinks. To not have it mandatory to be winter tires, it's like, um, well, why do we have to wear our seatbelts then? Right? You know, it, it's a safety issue. Cost is the issue then what more can the city do in order to protect our roads from danger? Janet Tacklenborg spoke with media today about a number of new service improvements, including... Anti-icing agents. Roads treated with anti-icing will be completed within 12 hours after a snowfall. I talked to a few people today who think it's good that the city is exploring its options when it comes to safety, but agree the deed should be on the drivers to get those winter tires on. I would think they should definitely make a law for winter tires. I think it's kind of just like, just it's not smart to not have uh, winter tires on. For dependability, for the ability to stop, you never know what's going to happen, what the person in front of you does, what the little kid running out on the street does. And you know, if it takes a few hundred dollars to save some lives, personally as a mom, I want as many lives saved as possible. There's more snow in the forecast, so be aware of the road conditions and make sure you're cautious as well. For City News in Edmonton, I'm Randy Marie Adams.